Hey guys, even here and your new Mr. Olympia champion is Hari Chupan. As we all pretty much expected, almost all of us, everybody except for Nick Strength and Power, he thought Big Ramy was gonna win, but Big Ramy was fifth. Deservedly so, it was pretty obvious that he was not gonna win or not gonna be in that top three or top four. His triceps were completely melted, his lats were gone, his abs were washed out, his legs had bumps and dents, his uh, glutes had bumps bumps so he was def his calves were down in size he was definitely not the best version of himself not even close i think this is the end of big Ramy, and this is the start of new era of new mr olympia champion and it's gonna be really hard to dethrone him from now on hari chupan now this proves a couple of things for example there are no politics on mr olympia stage none if they wanted to choose somebody who would represent them very well, they could have went with Derek Lunsford, instead they gave him second, and it was pretty obvious that he was in second, uh, he's, like I said, he's a perfect all-American golden boy, he, he's very well-spoken, he would be perfect representation for bodybuilding, Hadi, Hadi is, uh, Hadi doesn't speak English, and he's also half-deaf, and so he's not a good representation for bodybuilding, but his physique was by far the best on this stage, and they just gave it to him because he deserved it, and I love that. On the other hand, though, Big Ramy missed that Pittsburgh guest posing, and maybe that's why he's fifth. Just joking, just joking, he deserves to be fifth. Actually, in my opinion, he should have been sixth or seventh. I could see Samson and Andrew Jack place above Big Ramy. Actually, I don't know if Andrew Jack was in that seventh. Uh, I'm pretty sure Samson is sixth. We didn't hear announcement for the other placements. We're gonna find out soon enough. I'm gonna tell you guys in a separate video about that. But I feel like Andrew Jack is supposed to be in that seventh. Maybe it's gonna be Ian Valier or William Bonnock because those guys had a separate call out. We'll see. Anyways, as I said, there is another thing that is for sure right now, and that is Honey Rambert just proved himself as the best coach in the world. I mean, what else could he do to prove that to us? I mean, he just won another Mr. Olympia, another Sando. And also, he's coaching Derek Lansford. So, his guys are in top two. Also, his client wins the Mr. Olympian Classic Physique, Chris Bumstead. That's right, Chris Bumstead won the Mr. Olympian Classic Physique. This was also pretty apparent. I wasn't so sure if they would punish him because of his biceps, that one of his biceps actually was injured, as you can see, and also his leg. One of his legs is down in size, but everything else was just so overwhelming. I'm really curious to see the, the scoring, but I'm pretty sure he, he won. Uh, with perfect score because he was just so impressive man he was so shredded so peeled so so full and this was the, the best look that chris brought to the stage ever uh, aside from those imbalances but apparently they weren't enough to cost him that that first spot he won the mr olympia so as far as the results let's go back to the open uh, in that second of course you had uh, derek lansford in third you had nick walker so this was, uh, I wouldn't say it was unexpected, uh, before the Mr. Olympia I had Nick Walker winning, actually, but it was, it was pretty close, I gotta say, between him and Derek and Hardy, he looked really good, and he edged out a lot of great guys, like, he beat so many guys that beat him last year, you know, he beat Hunter Labrada, he beat Big Ramy, he beat Brandon Curry, and on top of it all, he won the People's Champ Award, which I think he deserves very much so. He is unarguably the most popular bodybuilder in the world with the biggest social media following, so he deserves this title as well. And Brandon Curry ended up in fourth. If he had bigger legs, he would have been the Mr. Olympia champion. The reason why he is in that fourth spot is because he has no legs. In fifth, of course, you had Big Ramy, and that was all that was announced. I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure Samson is going to be sixth. And then we're going to have Andrew Jack, Ian Valier, William Bonek, Michael Crizio, Hunter Labrada. We'll see who's going to place where out of that bunch. As soon as I find out the results, I will post it, I will talk about it, I will analyze it. So guys, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. As for the classic physique, Chris Bumstead wins, of course. Of course, in second, you have Ramon Dino. In third, you have Urs Kalicinski, which I thought was going to be the case. He looked great. I mean, his presentation is just phenomenal, man. This guy has charisma. This guy knows how to present himself on the stage. Even though his physique is not as good 
as his presentation. His physique is awesome, don't get me wrong, but if his presentation wasn't that good, I could have easily seen him slip down to, to fourth or fifth. But in fourth, you had Brion Ainsley, who is much improved, I gotta say. His conditioning is much, much better. Even though he is a former Mr. Olympia champion, this, this has to be success for him because the other guys are just so good. And he is like 43 or 45 right now, so he's an older guy. And then in fifth, you had Mike Sommerfeld. Uh, Wesley Wissers made top 10. I'm really curious to see where in top 10 he landed. I'm pretty sure sixth was uh, Fabian Myers. But I'm not sure, as soon as I get the results, I will make a video about that, I will analyze all the results. So guys, once again, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned, because a lot more content is coming. Thank you guys for watching, if you guys enjoyed this video and the overall Mr. Olympia coverage so far, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you guys for watching, all the best. You have new Mr. Olympia champion, guys, Hari Chupan. That's right, tell me what you think about that in the comment section. And again, thanks so much for watching, all the best and bye-bye.